Good afternoon, Keller Williams, and uh, welcome to this very quick consumer app. So Keller Williams consumer app tip that I have for you, not really part of our command series, but just wanted to show you something real quick, uh, both from the consumer point of view and then even a buyer's agent or listing agent point of view. So um, on the screen, I have here uh, our consumer app, and I have basically just kind of drawn in where um, I live because I'm here at the house. And so it's showing me properties that are available for sale here in my neighborhood. However, the default view is more of just kind of a street view. So I can see street and I can kind of see bodies of water, but that's pretty much it. Uh, one thing I wanted to show you was the ability to actually change that so that you have satellite view. So in the top right hand corner, you'll see a button that says more. It's just underneath that little arrow in that top right hand corner. So when I click on more, I then have the ability to switch between listings and map. So these are going to be different options, either listing based options or map based options. So in the top right corner, I'm going to click on map and then you can see now we have a satellite view. So when I click on satellite and then click on done in the top right hand corner, you'll see my view has then changed. So now it's no longer streets, but an actual satellite view. Here's why I thought this was important. You can see there's a property here that I have favorited from yesterday. I was kind of playing around with the app and so it saved that as a favorited property. As a consumer, in my previous view, I would not have been able to see that this backs to raw land, right? I can just kind of see in the map view of default, it backs to something, but I can't really tell what that is. So when I go back to the satellite view, I can actually look at it and say, oh wow, that's just raw land. Now that could be zoned commercial, that could be zoned residential, who knows what that's gonna be zoned in the future. So I think this is a great way to kind of double check and see from the satellite view, if you're a consumer, what you back to. Um, you can even kind of zoom in and see, okay, well, I know there's lakes in Fawn Lake. How close am I to the lakes, right? And you can see kind of the distance there, how close that house would be to the lake. Um, let's say, for example, you were going on a listing appointment. You could use a satellite view to kind of zoom in on the house that you're going on and verify whether it has a pool or not. I mean, you can get real granular and kind of see, oh, okay, well, it's got a, you know, it's a busy uh, cul-de-sac there. It looks like there's several houses all right on the cul-de-sac, whatever that might be. In addition, if you're working with buyers and they send you some homes that they want to check out, um, I have gone, unfortunately, before I learned to do this when I was a brand new buyer's agent, I've gone and shown properties where I didn't realize they backed to like a commercial car wash or backed to um, an elementary school or a middle school uh, with clients that had already told me, hey, we want to make sure that we don't back to anything that's super noisy or that might affect our property value. And so that would be an example, right? I mean, it'd be great if you had elementary aged kids to live right behind an elementary kid school so you could get your kids to school really easily. And yet if you didn't want to have kind of the traffic or the noise from a school um, or obviously the, the hubbub from a commercial car wash, you wouldn't want to live right behind one. So just a quick and easy tip, the ability to come into more, click on map, and then choose satellite view so that you can then see from an aerial and you can twist this map, right? You can spin it, you can zoom it in and out and then kind of tell what is behind, around, next to the property your consumers are looking at, the property you might be going on a listing appointment, uh, the property your uh, consumers might ask you to show as a buyer's agent. So that's it for today, guys. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. I will definitely look forward to future tips, um, and I'll keep those coming for you there on my YouTube channel. Have a great day.